Many politicians have an issue with understanding money. They seem to engage in what I call economic superstition. Here's the truth about how money works. The federal government is neither like you, me, or any small business. The federal government has what we call monetary sovereignty. This means that the federal government can create the US dollar whenever they want, as much as they want, and for whatever they want, and they are the only ones in the world who are allowed to do it. 10 years ago, when the global economy crashed, we got an inside look at the creation of money through an act of Congress when the Federal Reserve Chair, Ben Bernanke, explained this. The banks have um, accounts with the Fed much the same way that you have an account in a commercial bank. So to lend to a bank, we simply use the computer to mark up the uh, size of the account that they have with the Fed. So it's much more akin, uh, although not exactly the same, but it's much more akin to printing money than it is to borrowing. Ben Bernanke betrayed a truth unknown to most working people. The entire process in which most people believe the government gets its money is actually reversed. The federal government spends the money into existence, the money circulates around the communities, and then finally it is through taxation that it is destroyed. While this is a radical paradigm that can be hard to grasp, Let's remember Henry Ford's famous words. It is well enough that people of the nation do not understand our banking and monetary system, for if they did, I believe there would be a revolution tomorrow. The next time a disingenuous person asks you, how are you going to pay for it? The only answer should be with money.